I pray that joy fills you right now where you are. And I want you to remember that Jesus is the center of your joy. No matter what you've been facing, the Lord right now in this season is releasing um, so much to you. You keep holding on to what God has spoken over your life. Continue in joy. Continue in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray an overflow over you right now in the name of Jesus, because God is a promise keeper. He will never leave you or forsake you. It doesn't matter what it's looking like. Believe what God said. It doesn't matter what it's looking like, but believe what God said over your life. There are blessings before you, favor before you. 11th hour miracles taking place in this season. God is speaking power over you and he's pouring out his spirit over you, over your children in this hour in the name of Jesus whatever promises God has spoken over your life they are coming into fruition I can't even say the word right over your life God is serious about his word being manifested in your life God is serious about his word being manifested in your life Take heed that he wants you to walk in joy. Look up Isaiah 12, um, 55, 12, Isaiah 55, 12. Remember also again, that Jesus is the center of your joy. There is an overflow of joy being poured out. And I pray it over you in the name of Jesus, that you will continue to endure, be steadfast, in the goodness of God, because in this hour, the Lord is bringing to you what he has spoken over you. It is a beautiful thing to be alive in this time. There's a time of revival. There's a time of rejoicing, a time of celebration, be, you know, because God is manifesting what he has spoken the Holy Spirit is giving you instructions. He is guiding you. He is leading you. You know, we wait when he says, wait, we move when he says, move. We move by the spirit of the Lord. I just saw two, two, two. There are miracle signs and wonders following those that love the Lord. Literally. Okay. And favor, favor is taking place. God is pouring out his favor. Listen, we don't deserve it, but it is a because we have been walking in obedience with the Lord, okay? There are so many reasons to be joyful over because God comes through, always comes through. He will never fail you. You understand? Somebody that needs to be uplifted right now, God will never fail you. Everything that you need is in place. Just keep walking. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Because Jesus is the center of your joy all that's good and perfect comes from him he's the oh wait you're the joy he's the joy of our contentment all for all we do Jesus, you're the center of our joy. Look, Jesus is the center of our joy because the Lord makes things happen. He is making things happen. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord and you move when he says move. Trust him. You can trust him with your whole heart. He will never leave you hanging. He will not let you drown. That is a promise. He is speaking miracles over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that you've been, been praying for, you've been praying for your, your health to be intact. You've been praying for, you know, and, and pressing through for uh, your marriage, your, your children. God is doing miracles in this hour. Trust him with all your heart. Don't worry. He is taking care of you. He is taking care of you. You don't have to worry. Um, trust him. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment. 
hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. He is the center of our joy. We don't ever have to worry. God is a promise keeper. God is always there. He is Jehovah Jireh. Stop worrying. He said, don't worry. I got you, my child. I got you covered. We must believe. We must take heed. We must eat that word and believe what God says. Whenever he's telling us to move, he got you. He got us, okay? So stay encouraged, okay?